the weather outside is frightful, but the art is so delightful. I, I can't think of an art song real fast. Hi everyone, welcome to Rachel's studio. And in today's tutorial, it's gonna be a full real-time tutorial how I painted this little Christmas kitty in a Christmas sweater. And I made it into a little greeting card. So these are really fast and fun to do. So full disclosure, I am not a cartoon artist. I'm not good at that, but I love the whimsy and fun of little cute cartoon things like this. Luckily for me and all of us artists, we now have artificial intelligence that can do that for us. So I took my happy little artist self over to Dolly too. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to make your own Christmas cat sweaters or whatever else you want to come up with. And so the way it works, by the way, is when you type in a prompt into artificial intelligence and you come up with an image, that image was created from your idea. So the copyright is considered yours. So if you do use these designs that I've come up with, you are welcome to, but please just give tag me Rachel Studio. I'm on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook. Tag me on any of those places because I want to see your Christmas cards that you come up with. And by the way, I will put a link in the description below and post probably on my community tab other Christmas sweater designs that you can do. I've got a line drawing for this. I will put that in my community tab. And by the way, be sure to check out the other fun things I have in my community tab. I post there a lot. But without further ado, let's paint a Christmas kitty. So I painted my little Mary Catmus kitty on Arsh cold, cold press paper, 140 pound, and I made it wide enough so that I could fold it into a card. And I think there's better ways to make cards. I am not a card maker. I'm using M. Graham Napthal Red about milk consistency and just making it flat red. You can add a little bit of purple here and there to add some dimension. So anyway, this is a my newest brush, a Princeton Aqua Elite Long 12 long round. I like my four so much I thought I would try this one. I saw it in the store and I just picked it up. So I just painted around those little white slivers in the armpits to kind of delineate the arms a little bit better. I was just trying to get these little ovals for the neckline as equal as possible. Just using a little kneaded eraser to lighten that tail so that I can refine it and get it the way I want it. I added a little Windsor Violet to my mix, just to make the ears a little bit different color. It's almost a little too puddling. If you get your paint too puddling, it'll leave hard edges when it dries, so just be aware of that. Again, I do encourage you to be creative. I came up with Mary Catmus. I'm sure that's been used a zillion times before, but uh, you might want to put something different on yours. You're welcome to use Mary Catmus. I don't mind at all. I don't mind if you use these cards, sell the originals. I just ask that you don't make prints. So if you want this to look like your cat, for example, you could paint this cat any color, black, spotted, brown, tabby, whatever. You just want to think in terms of, if you do that though, just think, like for example, if you painted a brown cat with a red sweater, the red and the brown might too be, be too similar in value and color. So you might want to, if you like do a brown cat, you might want to have the main part of the sweater mostly green with maybe red stars or something like that. So because my cat's white, the red really pops. So I kept it red. Like a black cat might have mostly a white sweater with little red ornaments and a green Christmas tree or something. That would be cute. You could do all sorts of different designs. 
I just squeezed out my brush and got a little bit of paint on the tip of my brush. And I'll put in a little bit of tea consistency pink for the nose. And use very watery red because I want it to be a pink nose, not a bright red nose. So this is my Fudnasuke calligraphy pen I'm using, and it's kind of dried out a little bit, but that's giving it a little bit of a dry brush look, so I didn't mind that. I thought that was kind of interesting. I tried to make the eyes a little bit thicker just to call attention to them. And since this is so whimsical, you really can do no wrong, so you can be creative with your line work if you want. Make some thin, some thick. Just make sure your paint is dry before you touch it to any of the paint. You don't have to outline every single thing, so you can kind of decide what you want to do. And of course, I'm just trying to get mine kind of even with a, the same amount of white on both sides of the cat. You can also mount this on um, cardstock, like a black cardstock or maybe a green one would look really good. All right, so I'm just gonna make tiny little lights, just make them cute and make them, I'm gonna try not to have them in a perfect pattern. Right now they're kind of perfect pattern, but I will make a note to not do that for this whole process of painting the lights, because if they're even, that's not really how Christmas lights are. They're not perfectly even. So I'm gonna kind of start being a little more random here, paying attention to being random. And I've just got about milk consistency, permanent green light, any green will do. It's really not, doesn't matter. That's cobalt blue. Again, I'm not even making the lights perfectly light shaped because I want them to look whimsical. I'm leaving a little light area in some of them, painting just the side of others, making them all a little different. Cause so I just thought that would be kind of whimsical and cute looking. I'm putting some closer than others to the green lights, just so it looks a little bit more random. Getting some Holbein Oriole in there. Just using my regular palette, you guys. I don't change my palette. It's the same I have whether I'm painting a cartoon cat or a expensive commission of a child. <laughs> I use the same colors. M. Graham Naphthal Red. All right, now I just want to connect these with a little bit of line work. I'm going to try to remember to keep everything curving and not have any hard uh, angles, at least. I don't have any muscle memory for this, so believe it or not, it's you kind of have to pay attention. But I did like how... Oh, that's cute. I did like how I put a, a line work around the lights and left some white space. I just think that looks so whimsical and adorable. I always like it when I see white um, ink and wash with that style. So cute. And then some of my lines go right through the color. And I just think that gives it a fresh, whimsical look. All right, and there we have it. Christmas sweater cat, love this. I could just paint these every day, all day. They're just so fun, carefree, just play with paint, ink and wash, it's just so fun. And I cannot wait to see what some of y'all come up with, so be sure to post on my Facebook group, or you can paste on the community tab in Patreon, but more people will see it if you post on the Facebook group. I'd love to see them, so don't be shy, and I can't wait to see what you come up with. Now go watercolor your world. Bye, everybody. <laughs>